Okay, guys, um, one second, I have to set up something here. Okay, sorry about that. Um, welcome back, guys, to my channel. Today is Black Clover. Well, one of my videos today is Black Clover. I've got a checklist next to me. I've already got seven deadly sins, which was an accidental video for getting that Merlin, which I'm gonna do a breakdown video soon just because it wasn't that long of a video, but it was completely spread the moment. I, I mean, I'm glad I got her as a character and a unit to have in the game, but it wasn't when I was like going on my way purposely to get. I just thought, okay, is there, I guess I'll just try something just to see what I can get. And I managed to get it. Um, so this video, which was the one that was supposed to be planned originally, is going to be a breakdown of the ranking available on Defend. Now if I go to, what's wrong button? If I go to Notice, and there's obviously um, the Julius, um, Defender, which I don't care about. I still am going for that um, this one right here, which I should be getting pretty soon because I'm on the free step or about to be in the free step. So that video should be hopefully out into this week or um, into next week. We'll see. Um, so right here, defend ranking is live. Defend the capital and aim for the top. So this is going to be. Uh, if you're needing a lot of jewels, I would definitely go for this. Um, so I'm just gonna read what it says and then kind of go through it afterwards and like in it more in depth. But it says, "Thank you for playing Black Clover Phantom Knights." The the Defend the Capital raids ev ranking event is now live from 2023-11, and the Defend the Capital ranking events. You can earn amazing rewards by scoring your scoring over your rivals in the rankings. Event info. Top the group ranking. So this is for if you're in a group with, more, I think, more than one people or, like, I, I don't know how it works. I haven't done it yet. But, um, it says, once the event begins, players will be assigned to groups of five. You can earn rewards based on your rank for each difficulty within the group. The higher the difficulty you complete, the more raid sheets, you, sheets are available as ranking rewards. Take on high difficulty quests to claim the top spot and obtain amazing items to beef up your brigade. And then for um, top the total ranking, which is just you by yourself, it says your place your place in the total ranking is, de is determined by the sum of your high scores on each difficulty level. Keep challenging your own record and top the total ranking. You will get a separate sheet of rewards based on your ranking in the total ranking. Check out the reward info below, which I, I am going to be doing in just a second. Um, but to participate in this event, you must fulfill the following requirements. Have completed the main story up to Jin Du 5 before the specific day, which I think is just when this event started. Yeah, because it's the 13th right now in this um was on the um, 11th so yeah so basically what that means is you have to have up to story um part three done so if you've got that done then you can join this event if not i highly say you should go up because when i go through the rewards in a minute it's it's well worth the grind trust me um the second one is having cleared a quest at least once within 28 days before the start of the event start it before the start before the event start date sorry and one day before Japan standard time and on the event start date so basically if you're just doing the um what is it um one second if you're doing the missions for um right here for oh, I have a reward to claim let me claim this real quick um but if you're doing the rewards for um where is it clear 10 event quests if you just what I usually do to get that quest out of the way, which does tie into how to be able to participate in that event, or the um, event we're talking about in, the video, in this video. What I usually do is I just come over to whatever event's going on, and I just use 10 skip tickets on whatever one I want. And that'll still act as being allowed you to participate in the event. So let me just hop back in here real quick. Oh, whoops. 
Go to notice. Okay, so right here. Um, where were we? Oh, yep. Um, and that's, those are the, all the only participants you need to be able to do. Now, here is where it gets crazy with the rewards. So, for just group ranking from beginner and all the way up. For beginner, it's, for first, you get five raid sheets, 180 black jewels, five AP large, and two phantom. And then, for the second one, you get um, two raid sheets, black jewels, you get 90, and then just so on and so forth. And I'll scroll down because it goes lower and lower. Um... For raids intermediate, it's seven raid sheets, three hundred and sixty black jewels, seven AP large, and four um, phantom sheets. And then obviously it goes down again. And then I'll just scroll through. And then for expert, it's ten raid sheets, and for first place, black jewels you get five hundred and forty. For AP large, you get ten. For phantom sheets, you get six. And then it just goes on. So I'll scroll down. And then for Grand Knight, you get 13 or no, 15 raid sheets in first place and 900 black jewels, 12 AP large, and 8 phantom sheets, and then it just goes down. And then you think it would stop there. No. And this is why I said this event is really good and you should go for it. It gives you not only, you know, for in first place, it gives you not only. Blah, sorry, I was drawing a blank. Not only does it give you 20 raid sheets, it gives you. 100 or not sorry gives you 1800 black jewels 15 ap large and 10 phantom sheet and then it also includes the um 900 black jewels for second place and 400 for third place so even if you don't get first you're still getting heavily rewarded plus other things like honing keys and golden nuggets and that's that was just for group rewards okay now here is um for total rankings for total rankings, for first through third ranks, you get five character or, or a five star character ticket. Um, you get 60 raid sheets, 10 phantom sheets, 300 skip tickets, summon tickets. You get 11 of them through. Okay, so this is fourth through 10 plays. You get 11 summon tickets, 60 raid sheets, eight phantom sheets, 200 skip tickets. On top of no, you get so 11 summon tickets. Did I read that wrong up here too? No, I didn't. It was not there. Okay. Sorry, I thought I read that wrong. And then through 11 through 50, you get 5 summon tickets, 60 raid sheets, 6 phantom sheets, and 150 skip tickets. Um, 51 through 100, you get 1 summon ticket, 60 raid sheets, 4 phantom sheets, 100 skip tickets, and, and then through 101 to 500... You get 40 raid sheets, 2 phantom sheets, 70 skip tickets, 501 through 1000. You get sheets or raid sheets, you get 30. Phantom sheets, you get 1. Skip tickets, you get 50. And then 1001 to 5000, you get 20 raid sheets, 30 skip tickets, white ash slate, you get 10. Um, I'm not going to read the Roman numerals. You can correct me in the comments. I'm just not good with Roman Roman. Roman numerals, there we go. Um, and then from 5001 onward, you get 10 raid sheets, 10 skip tickets, and then white slate ash, you get three of those. Um, but no, it doesn't stop there because this shows you basically the breakdown of the character you're trying to grind, which doesn't make sense to me in the fact that you get him even without going through this ranking available. But that's, that's not a big deal because I don't actually have him yet. That's, that's it there. Now let's actually hop into a match so I can show you what this looks like. So I'm going to jump cut to there now. This works is right now currently only um, the Raidus battle um, has a, you know, real battle, Rayan, or Raya, sorry, Raya battle, health battle, and Veto awakened battle. None of those ones have it yet. It's just this one. I'm sure later on they'll all in be included. Um, I'm not going to try this one up here just because my health or my um, overall team strength isn't high enough for it. But I am working on that. Um, but I'll show you just for the sake of the video. We'll go into inter intermediate. Now each one has its own separate one. So if I just go into rankings here. 
I don't know if it's changed in the leaderboards. I haven't checked since it came out because I was busy with exams. So, yeah, so there I am. I'm listed at third for current rank on... Oh, wait, am I listed on expert? I am. And that, that's total rankings right now. Is, sorry, I wasn't. this wasn't like this last time. Okay, that's even better. So for group rankings, I'm third. Um, this guy named Knights is second. And this guy in first is Draken. So each one has its own, as you can clearly see, because this guy is already here. Um, so yeah, let's hop into one real quick. So let's go with, we'll probably go with Intermediate, just because, um, well, that's, that's all I can go into. I can't even do Grand Knight, which sucks. I really need to work on getting my team up. But just for the sake of this, we'll do Intermediate. Just so I can get first in Intermediate, because it, the, the, it doesn't matter if, let's, okay, let's say you do Intermediate, right? And you get first in there. If you think that going in, and let's say you still stay in first, but then go and do, what, like, for Expert or whatever, and you get first in Expert, you still get both those rewards. At least I think you do, because that's how it's set up. So it doesn't matter what happens, I think you still get both regardless. Don't hold me that to that, I could be wrong, but let's just, oh, and also, don't use skip tickets, they don't even work. And I tried that before reading the info and all on, the, on this, and it just doesn't work. But um, let's head into one real quick and see what happens. And I'm probably just gonna time lapse this right here just so it'll go faster for you guys. But as you can see in the corner up there, or maybe I won't time lapse this, this is going kind of fast. But as you can see in the corner up here where, where I'm tapping, it's got the counter and the quicker the timer um, is going up, that counts as your overall time. You wanna try to keep the time low. So we'll go into final wave. All right, now we're at 35 seconds. I don't know if I've, I've done intermediate before actually. Yeah, I have. Okay, so now you see it's going up. I don't know what we're gonna end up with in total, but this could be interesting. What are we gonna end up with? Hmm. I'm gonna call under a minute and 20, maybe 30. We just need to take out the Raya. Or did I say Raya? I meant Raidus. Take out the Raidus in the center there. Okay, are we gonna end up in 120? No, no, we're not. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do now. We just have to sit here and wait for this to, you know, go. So yeah, um, how's your guys' day going? Mine's going great. Really, really good. I made a. I really don't want to talk about. Um. There we go. Okay. So it looks like we're doing we're doing okay now. Definitely not gonna hit it under 130 though. Oh oh. Okay, let me put him in defense mode for a second. Or no, that was not defense mode. Now they're in attack mode. I thought that was attack mode they were already in. Well, that would have been nice. And I would have got this going a lot faster. Alright, so we're at 209, 2010, 2012. Alright, we're definitely not going to beat my previous one, I don't think. Unless my previous one was lower. Or, I mean, higher, sorry. Um, Come on. And... Oh. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so we got 225. Now, what that means is that adds into points, and the lower the time is, the more points you get. So, as you can see there, I didn't really add any more points to it, which was not actually a good thing. But that's basically how it works, and it's it's the same thing for each one. Like the same, the way the counter works is the same. The only difference is each one is obviously a more higher for like intermediate, expert, grand knight, wizard king, and all that. So that's pretty much it for this breakdown. I don't really have anything else to really break down per se, but I wanted to get this out of the way just because I feel like a lot of people are going to skip this event. And if if you've got time to sit around and grind for this event, I would highly do it. I don't know if I'm going to. I'm going to try to do it on some parts of it, or like to some extent, because I want to try to get some of the rewards, because those are some really great rewards. But at the same time, I'm also trying to grind out on 7 Deadly Sins, which is going to be good, because I got that Merlin that I'm going to be able to make a video on. So keep an eye out for that. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.